Oh man, guys, I love eating Lunchables. Me too. Look at these little wieners. Can you imagine having a little wiener? <laughs> I sure can't. Guys, check out my pizzas. That looks disgusting, Joseph. I'd rather have a pizza than a wiener in my mouth. Have you even had a wiener in your mouth? No, and I don't plan on it. Guys, I can't open up my Lunchable. I'll get some scissors. Chef Baby, can you bring me some scissors? <sighs> what do you need scissors for, you stupid brat? I can't open up my Lunchable. Oh my God, you're so weak. You're the weakest kid I've ever met, Junior. Well, then let me see you open it. <laughs> I can open it without scissors. Watch. Just gotta get my fingers on it. You said you could open it. I, I, I can open it, okay? Just leave me alone. I'm just, just gotta bite it. You know what? Just gotta use your, your wisdom teeth. There we go. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I'm a boss. All you did was open a Lunchable. What the news? Breaking news, MK. Tom Brady, seven-time Super Bowl champion, is retiring from football. Sad day for all of us. What? Tom Brady's retiring? Oh no, this can't be happening. This is a bad dream. It's a bad dream. No. He can't retire. Calm down, Chef. Maybe he's just a football player. No, he's not just a football player. He's God. He's the GOAT. Bad. Well, he played long enough, Chef PB. No! He didn't play long enough! He's supposed to play till he's 90! My life's over! <coughs> Junior, Chef PB looks really upset. Man, we should go check on him. This can't be happening! This can't be happening! <laughs> I'm depressed! I mean, all the bread I can find! Oh no, guys, he's eating white bread. Oh, he must be really sad. <laughs> All the bread you can have. Uh, uh, you don't. You don't play football anymore. So here, get the bread. Eat the bread, Tom. Oh, he's yelling at the Tom Brady book. Oh, come on, Chef PB. The carbs. <laughs> this isn't part of the TB12 method. The TB12 method is dead, Cody. <laughs> Just like Tom. <laughs> well, Chef, you know that Tom Brady can come back in a few years. No, he can't. You saw the news. I know you saw the news. Yeah, you saw the news. He's dead. It's over. It's complete. <laughs> We should call a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Tom, no! Poor guy. Is he gonna be okay, doctor? Well, we have him in a straitjacket in a padded room so he can't hurt himself. What's going on? Well, it looks like he's having some kind of mental breakdown. Do you know what could have happened? Well, we were watching TV and then he found out Tom Brady retired. What? Tom Brady retired? Yeah. No, God, no, not Tom! He can't retire! He's not supposed to retire until he was like 90! I know, right? Oh God, this is the worst news ever! I'd rather lose my wife than Tom Brady! God, no! He's the GOAT! He's the GOAT! The best! Oh God, no, please, no! <laughs> Is Chef PB gonna be okay? I don't know, guys. I've never seen him this sad before. Well, Tom Brady was his idol, dude. Well, it's not like we can do anything. I mean, it's not like we can stop Tom Brady from retiring. That's it, Cody. We have to stop Tom Brady from retiring. I just said we can't do that. Sure we can. Okay, how? We'll just pay him to keep playing. Oh, yeah, he loves money, dude. Guys, Tom Brady usually makes about $20 million a year. Well, we'll just save up $20 million and give it to him. Well, how are we gonna save up $20 million? We'll just wash cars and look in the couch cushions. I don't think you're gonna have $20 million in the couch cushions. And besides, the problem wasn't that they weren't paying him enough. The problem was that he just didn't want to play anymore. Well, if we give him an offer he can't refuse, he'll keep playing. What if we offer him one billion dollars. A billion dollars? He'll definitely play for like 10 years, dude. Well, I don't doubt that, but where are we gonna get a billion dollars? Okay, how about we just empty our pockets, add up all our money, and maybe see how much money we have. We're not gonna have anywhere near a billion dollars. I don't know, Cody, we might surprise you. I I'd, I'd be very surprised if we had a billion dollars. All right, uh, everyone empty your pockets. Well, would you look at that, Cody. What, $7.50? Uh, 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 $7.75 shit. Oh, wow, if this doesn't get him to keep playing, I don't know what will. Exactly. Exactly. I was being sarcastic, Junior. Tom Brady shits this. No, he doesn't. He eats nothing but avocados. He doesn't poop money. No, Junior, my point is $7 is nothing to Tom Brady. Well, don't say that. What if he's bankrupt one day and he really needs his money? I think he's going to be just fine. Unless he's addicted to putting money in a paper shredder. Well, that's an even better reason for me not to give him my $7. <sighs> okay, fine. Well, think of another way to get him not to retire. <gasps> I got it. 
what if we kidnap Tom Brady? Whoa! No, 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 hear me out. We kidnap him and we say, we'll only let you go if you keep playing. Well, when we let him go to play, he's just gonna run away and never come back. No, he'll run away onto the football field and get touchdowns. And then he'll never come back. No, we'll make him pinky promise to not run away. Junior, these are terrible ideas. Come up with another one that isn't illegal. <sighs> okay. <gasps> okay, what if we call him and we ask him nicely not to retire? How are you gonna get Tom Brady's number? Um, we'll call his agent. How are you gonna get his agent's number? We'll call the agent's wife. How are you gonna get the agent's wife's number? Facebook. Oh, that might work. Okay. All right, guys, I'm calling her. Hello? Hey, is this Tom Brady's agent's wife? Uh, yes, it is. Who is this? Let me talk to your husband. Oh, okay. Uh, honey, it's for you. Who is it, honey? Hello? Hey, are you Tom Brady's agent? I sure am. Why are you calling my wife? Well, I want to offer Tom Brady a billion dollar offer. A billion dollars? Okay, I'll put Tom on the call. Hello? Oh, we've got a billion dollar deal for you. A billion dollars? Okay, let's hear it. Uh... Hi, Tom. Hi, I'm Tom Brady. Yeah, you are. Um, I'm from Billion Dollar Book Publishing Millionaires, Inc. Incorporated. Oh, yeah, I've heard of you guys. Uh, oh, well, we want to offer you $7.75. Uh, uh, so far, it, it'll be more later. Uh, to keep playing. Hello? Hello? The call dropped. I think he hung up on you when he heard how much you were really going to offer. Oh, no. Oh, guys, what are we going to do? I think we just need to accept that Tom Brady's done with football. Yeah. I guess you're right, Cody. It was stupid to try to get him to come back. Boys, boys, you got to come quick. It's not looking good. What? What's wrong, doctor? Well, uh, I don't know how to say this, but your friend here is, um, dying. Dying? Not Chef BB. Who's going to cook for us? Why is he dying? Well, I don't really know. He's just completely lost the will to live. It's called broken heart syndrome. But what can we do to help him? Well, maybe if Tom Brady decided not to retire. I mean, I tried telling him that he could still watch Aaron Rodgers play, but then he just woke up for a brief second to say, I'd rather die, and then he went back into his coma. Oh, poor Chef BB. We're here for you. Guys, we have to stop Tom Brady from retiring. Pff, good luck with that. That's impossible. Nothing's impossible for a possible. What? It's from Kim Possible. Oh, I'm not familiar with the show. Come on, guys. Guys, Chef BB's dying! But guys, there's nothing else we can do. I'm surprised we even managed to get on the phone with Tom Brady. But I don't want Chef BB to die. There has to be something we can do that makes Tom Brady not retire. <gasps> I just thought of something so crazy it just might work. What, dude? Oh, God, what is it? We break into Tom Brady's house. No! You didn't let me finish. We break into Tom Brady's house. We steal one of his Super Bowl rings. And then when he knows the ring's missing, he's like, I gotta go win another one to replace it. And he goes and wins another Super Bowl. No, I'll tell you what he's gonna do. He's gonna call the police, and then we're gonna go to jail, and he's still not gonna be playing football. Well, no, no, no. He's not gonna be happy knowing he's missing a ring. So he's like, I gotta go play one more season to win a ring. But winning another ring isn't going to replace the ring we stole. Okay, fine. We'll steal the ring, and then we'll send him a ransom note saying, you only get this ring back if you go back and win the Super Bowl. Okay, let me see if I have this right. We're gonna break into Tom Brady's house, which is burglary. We're gonna steal one of his Super Bowl rings, which is theft. And then we're gonna send him a ransom note, which is extortion, I think. And then even after all of that, he has to play a full season of football and win a Super Bowl? Exactly. It's gonna work. It's gonna bring Sheppy back to life. Everyone's gonna be happy. And then Tom Brady's gonna have eight rings, and he's gonna be the Super Goat. Dude, he's so crazy, it might work. Uh-huh. No, it's not gonna work, and we're gonna go to jail. No, some guy stole his jersey after he won a Super Bowl, and that guy didn't go to jail. Wait, really? Yeah, Tom Brady doesn't press charges. Huh. Well, you might be onto something. Okay, let's go break into Tom Brady's house and steal like, multiple Super Bowl rings. Because the more we steal, the more seasons he'll play to win those rings back. Ooh, let's do it, dude. All right, guys, we're at Tom Brady's house. How are we going to break in, Junior? I don't know. Let's see if the door's unlocked. Oh, wow, he leaves the door unlocked? Rich people don't care, huh? Go, go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, let's check the kitchen. They're not going to be in the kitchen, Junior. You never know. Huh. No, not here. Oh, God, I found three of them! What, he keeps his Super Bowl rings next to the forks? I'll put them by the bowls, personally. Oh, come on, let me grab them, let me grab these three. All right, guys, we got them. That was incredibly easy. I told you, Cody, now all we have to do is write a ransom note to Tom Brady saying, if you ever want to see your Super Bowl rings again, you have to keep playing. Okay. Write it. But me? I don't want them tracing my handwriting back to me. Cody, they can't trace your handwriting. Yes, they can. Then write it with your left hand. <sighs> Oh, okay, fine. What do you want it to say? Say, uh, Tom Brady, if you ever want to see your Super Bowl rings again, you have to keep playing. <sighs> All right. Come on, hurry. Okay, Junior has that. Oh my God, Cody, it's perfect. Why so sloppy, dude? I wrote it with my left hand. I think it's perfect, Cody. Okay, great. So how do we get the letter to him? Um... We break back into his house and we leave the letter. Oh, come on. Why didn't we just leave it when we were there before? We didn't have any paper, Cody. Come on, grab it. <sighs> 
Okay, we left the note. Let's get out of here. Should I lock the door? What? No, it was unlocked when we got here. That'll be suspicious. Come on. Yeah, do think. All right, guys, the mission is complete. Well, now we just have to wait for Tom Brady to notice, and then he'll call the cops. There's the news! Breaking news, MK! Three of Tom Brady's Super Bowl rings have been stolen. And there's a ransom note that was left at the scene, and the police are investigating now. Oh no, we're gonna go to jail! I'll never see my family again! I'll never get into college! My whole life is just- Ow! Shut up, Cody! We wanted this to happen! It's part of the plan! And plus, they don't even know it's us. I think they know it's us, dude. Oh, let me do the talking. Hello? Hey, kid. Oh, the cops. What are you doing here? Well, Tom Brady's Super Bowl rings got stolen. What? Yeah, it's crazy, right? And whoever did it left behind this note that says that he has to play football again if he ever wants them back. And your friend is in the hospital because he retired, so that makes you suspect number one. Well, I didn't do it. All right, I'll see about that. <laughs> Come on, just let me do it. No, dude, that's gross. Guys, the cops are here. Wait, there's the rings. Wait, you didn't hide the rings? No, Cody wanted me to hide them up his butt. I could have fit all three in there. Hell, I could have done all seven. You told me you didn't have the rings. Look, we, we just took the rings because we don't want Tom Brady to retire because Chef Pee-Pee's dying. All right, well, you guys are lucky that Tom Brady doesn't press charges. You all be in big trouble. I'm just going to take these back to him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Chef Pee-Pee. We tried so hard to get Tom Brady not to retire, and now you're going to die. Hey, everybody. There's a guest here who wants to talk to you. Who? Hey, I'm Tom Brady. Tom Brady? What are you doing here? Well, I heard what you did for your friend, you know, stealing my Super Bowl rings, and I thought that was just the nicest gosh darn thing anyone's ever done. So I came to talk to your friend. Please talk to him. Maybe you'll bring him back to life. Okay, what's his name? Um, Chef Peepee. -Pee. Hey there, Mr. Peepee. -Pee. Uh huh? Tom? T Tom Brady? <gasps> yep, that's me. Seven time <gasps> Super Bowl winner, Tom Brady. Wait, what are you doing? Well, I just want to let you know that just because I'm retiring doesn't mean I'm retiring from your heart and all the good memories I made for you. You're right, Tom. Just because you're retiring doesn't mean you're dead. That's right. Now pucker up. Wait, what? <laughs> there you go. Oh my god! I just got kissed by Tom Brady! I feel like his son! Uh, can I have a taste? Oh, sure. <laughs> 